This is the first installment and maybe the last of Red Sox Alley 10.0. I'm Gordon along with Corn, and the topic tonight is the abrupt retirement of Manny Ramirez after he tested positive for performance enhancing drugs for the second time. And uh, rather than face a 100 game suspension, he decided to call it quits. Corn, what was your first reaction about uh, hearing that news? Manny being Manny. <clears throat> the ultimate Manny being Manny, just uh, thinking about himself and. Uh... That simple, huh? It's all about. It's all about. Well, you know, <clears throat> he's been behaving like a two-year-old since uh, since day one, and uh, a lot of it's coming out now. And just uh, it's all about him. He's a quitter. Now you were he quit, he quit on the Red Sox. He quit on his teammates. True. He quit on his teammates in, in L.A. He quit on his teammates in Chicago. He's quitting on his teammates now. Now you were at the game in Baltimore where he hit his 500th home run, and I know oh, you were really excited about that and being there, and, and it was electric. And does this, does this News diminish your overall feeling of uh, of that moment that you witnessed yourself? Yeah, a little bit. You know, you, you, you gotta you gotta wonder. You know, but he is one of the greatest right-handed hitters that ever lived. I don't think you get that way by taking drugs. Well, my thought is, and and this is no excuse on Manny's part if it's true, but that he had, he had some type of injury where without it he couldn't play, and he he. Apparently, in my opinion, took some performance enhancing drugs, maybe human growth hormone or, or something else. And he did that to uh, stay in the game and make a whopping $2 million, which to you and me would be a lot of money, but to him apparently is not. But, but I, I have a feeling that's why he did it, and that, that doesn't excuse him for that. Um, second thought I had was this being the second time, you would think after the first time he would have learned. And if it was time to call it quits, call it quits and go out with dignity instead of to me, having blatant disregard for the game by yep. testing positive a second time. And, and really, you know, that, that 100 game suspension is, is an awful lot. And uh, I don't think if I were a player that I would dare to even attempt anything that would put my, my year in jeopardy. Because 100 games for someone who's his age is a lot of, a lot of games. He disrespects well, it's a lot of games for anyone, but where he has, you know, a few years left that Oh, 100 games is an awful lot, or maybe he has one or two years left at the most. He disrespects the game. He disrespects his teammates. Uh, you know, I mean, he acts like a two-year-old. He, you know, what, what do you? We'll, ne we'll never, we'll never know about the steroid thing and how, you know, how long he's been doing it, and how it affected, you know, how many home runs he would have. But, but that's not the worst thing about him. The worst thing about him is he's he's disgraceful. You know, right? I mean, Tampa Bay's and. They got a record all, uh, almost as bad as the Red Sox. He could he could be sticking around trying to help his team sure, out. Sure, sure. But what's he doing? He's running away from them. Yep. And it's just uh, I, I don't know I don't know how to comment on that on, on somebody with that kind of mentality. Right, right. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us for Red Sox 10.0. We hope this isn't the last episode. And also be sure and join us on the Red Sox Alley Show, which can be found on our Facebook page, on our website www.redsoxalley.com as well as on iTunes. Good night. Good night.